Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Marvel Spider-Man. Last time we witnessed the tragedy and horrors of uh, Martin Lee and his demon gang that uh, blew up an entire crowd of people during the uh, Osborne campaign. Um, and now we track these guys to this building of consolidated shipping. We took out everybody on the outside, less stealthy than I would have liked, but it uh, allowed us to uh, perform a bit of uh, revenge on all of these guys. And the pigeons are really happy. Look at all the pigeons. Uh, but let's head inside the building. I can actually pull open the doors like that, because I'm, of course, a very powerful man. And there's a pink slip over here, apparently. Let's just check that out. Huh. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. What the what hell? What else can I find around here? A million eight hundred? That is... That is... Am I reading that right? That's really expensive. And then the same kind of map as we saw in the previous hideout. They have bases all around the city. Okay, so that would get us base tokens. I actually have a lot of tokens, so let's just see what I can actually unlock. We got a new suit. The electrically insulated suits. Kit bashed high discharge capacitors, temporarily electrify gauntlets, electrifying enemies when punching. It looks not nice though. I want to try out a few new suits, but it needs to be a nice suit, doesn't it? Classic suit repaired, leap into the air and web everything inside. The web blossom. I can actually equip that. And there's two more suits below here. Complete all black cat stakeouts to unlock this suit. And find all backpacks to unlock this suit. You know what, let's go for the classic suit for a second. We get the web blossom ability, leap into the air and web everything inside, which sounds really, really powerful. Uh, so that's a new suit power as well. And then suit mods we get, increases the amount that you are healed from focus, which is nice, or scanned enemies remain highlighted until combat starts. But we need a bit more research tokens for that. I think I'm fine with what we have now. Because that's the defense mods and then the double focus for web attacks. But I've been bragging about impact web and I can actually upgrade the impact web to uh, knock enemies further back. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I need to unlock this first. So an extra... An extra slot, don't mind if I do. And then I need two more crime tokens to upgrade it further. Can I upgrade the trip mine? Nope. Need one more crime token. Nope. This I need way more God. crime tokens than I have. Like the demons have an army. Okay. So I had eight crime tokens, but I used most of them to craft this lovely suit. And then, of course, the upgrade to the impact web. So now I can use the impact web three times instead of twice. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to defeat this guy as easily as I did the the, the other guy that just popped up. As if one deadly glowing whip wasn't enough. Oh wow! He can block okay, he can block projectiles, never mind. So maybe electric wraps? Ah, and there we go. And there we go. So with perfect dodges, I can actually web him up really good and take him out. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Oh crap! Um. Hey, MJ, I think I stopped the demon's attack on Osborne's campaign offices. There we go. No, but I found something we should look into. A place called Pale Horse Rides. Sounds familiar. I'll check it out. Get back. There we go. Okay, okay. There we go. And take out the guy with the gun. And then a projectile and get the whip guy up in the air. And that's the whoa, ho, 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 ho. What? Did you see what happened? And just take out this guy, web him up. 
And ah, with two focus bar, two focus bars, I can actually take this guy out. Goodbye. There we go. That was amazing. Did you see what that web blossom did? Copy Holy crap. There's another one. Uh, hi? Safety's off. Well, this is new. What the hell's up no, no, with no. the fancy... Right. I like their the armor. Hey! That's not how we do things. Down. Oh, I press circle. Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy code SM1. I have a visual. Ah, SM1, Spider-Man. Silverbird? What the hell is going on? Hi. Seriously? Hello. Nice entrance. Solid eight out of ten. Pretty lady. Oh, that's not fair. Nine out of ten. Release him. He works with us. She's badass. Explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International. Ah, Silver Sable. Sable. Paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now? Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. There we go, Silver no. Sable. We'll talk later. She's uh, really nicely color coded there. All white, or gray, or silver. Silver, probably. Because of the silver sable thing. Um, okay. Did I take a picture of that already? Hey, sorry about that sable thing. I should have told you earlier, but it all happened so fast. It's okay. We're still best buds. We're not best buds. Well, that took a dark turn. Aww. Anyway, sable has the mayor's ear and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm that... It's also correct, probably. Hey, MJ. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Huh. The locations line up with a map I found at that shipping business. I'll check them out. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. You got it. I'm headed to Lee's office at Feast to see if I can learn more about why he's doing this. And what he's got planned next. Okay. Say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? No. Lee's only got one target on his mind. Norman Osborn. Okay. So, is that real advertising, by the way, or is that just fake advertising? I don't know. Oat Unlimited, but it might be something. Let's just crack this open. There we go. Greenwich coverage complete. All towers activated. And then I'm actually going to go uh, take a dive into the skills menu, because I think I have four skill points available. And because of the explosions and everything, I never took the time to actually do something with those. So, more focus for stealth takes downs, don't mind if I do. Then the yank enemies upwards ability, because I've been trying to use that, but of course, it doesn't really work that way. There we go, air yank. And then... I think I'm gonna go for the rapidly pressing triangle during a throw to continue spinning. There we go. And after that, we can actually do the same with brute enemies. Jesus, that's going to be cool. But let's head towards that new address we got from MJ. What the hell is that? There's... Is that a silver sable watchtower? Yeah, yeah, it is. Missed another call from Doc. Peter, I wanted to make sure you're still available. I can't pay you yet. But I've pulled enough strings to keep the wolves from the door a bit longer. If we can get up and running, I know this new version of the project will attract investment. Massive investment. Stay ready. Fingers triple cross, Doc. Okay, so... Dr. Octavius is apparently still working on something. But we don't know what that is. So, the Feast Center. Oh, 
But there is crime nearby, so let's just let's just take a look. Is that up here? So are you guys terrorists or criminals? Because I can't keep it straight. There we go. Wait, go and taken care of. Um, boop. Jesus. And take out the shield. Oh, 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 oh. you just killed that man. You just killed that man. Okay, so that was demons versus silver sable, but apparently. Neither of them actually got a shot in, but there we go. Back to the feast center. Right over there. Right next to my clothes. So I don't think Martin Lee realizes that Spider-Man is Peter Parker yet. Me, but I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Oh. Here's his mom's number. This is so sad. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Because he's oh, a, a power-searching crime boss. I know. I want to. Terrorist. Evil man. And we're gonna go ransack his office right now. I should check out Lee's office. I can actually talk to her again. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. She actually... No. No. She's definitely not doing anything useful with that carrot. No. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. Glad to be okay, but check Lee's office. I was praying for you. Thanks. I Thanks, appreciate man. It. Thanks, random homeless man. Okay, let's get into the office. Locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. Aw, quietly. Your Spider-Man just bust down the door. Find a way into Lee's office. There is a grate. But... Seriously? Maybe there's a vent somewhere. This is weird seeing him do this. What the hell? Huh. Never seen that room before. Why is this... Electrified? Whoa, what the... There High we go. Lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. What the hell? No, I don't know what that will be. What's is that the ventilation pipe or is this this it kind of looks like something really really weird. Bye, Aunt May. So there's a note block. No. The room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Hmm. So let's check that out in a second. First, notes. Dear May, very soon you'll hear stories this about me. For May. Oh God! Stories claiming I'm a terrorist and a murderer. Those stories will be true. But the story we wrote together, the story of Feast, is also true. I want you to know that I always believed me. in our mission. It was the front or a show. It was an honest expression of my heart. When you help someone, you truly do help everyone. Please don't let my failings shake your belief. You are strong, May. Strong enough to tell a new story at feast, one unburdened by my faults. Thank you for all you've done, Martin. Looks like he's... I don't know. Huh. Conflicted. The in the photo is missing the picture. Okay, so good riddance we actually checked that first. Let's open that up. There's a book in here. Wilson Fisk has been arrested. I wonder where the lock is. 
I can barely believe it, the day I've planned for, dreamed of, is finally here. But for some reason I hesitate. Can I really go through with this? Things will happen so he quickly if I give conflicted. the word. My Looks man... Like he didn't want to head down this path. Yeah, indeed. My man will claim Fisk's arms, his explosives, his secrets. Will use that strength to teach Norman true pain. He'll know what it is to see the things he loves destroyed by his own hands. But achieving that end will mean giving up so much. Everything I've built here at Feast, all the good I've done, could be wiped out if my plan succeeds. My chance is finally here, yet still I hesitate. Should I turn back? A part of me wants to, but the demon is hungry, and I don't think I'm strong enough to hold it back. He wasn't. And he just blew everybody up. I mean, you can only give so much nuance to a guy who just blew up a whole lot of people. Okay. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Remember, the old man said, only balance can master the demon's strength. Without balance, the monster will turn on any who attempt to control it. Okay. So, let's open up. There's a lot of swords in this place, by the way. Is it? This is supposed to be him as well, because this is a real picture. Uh, let's open that up with the key. Some kind of puzzle lock. What the f... Uh... Oh! That seems right. It does. Okay, if you say so. That's probably also right. And then, because we need to make... Ying and Yang. Oh, I see. Yes. There we go. Yin and Yang. The balance of uh, Mr. Lee. Whoa. How the hell did he even get that here? What are you hiding, Lee? A lot of things, apparently. There's a glowing sword in the corner. Wait a second. What? Is this great electrifiable? That's not good. Um, let's check out the sword. A demon mask. Masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like he's giving his powers to the others. What? What did he say? Because there was another sentence going on, but I put it down too quickly. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Hmm. And they're even marked with a demon symbol, which is really, really creepy. Okay. Then we have a negative of the picture. Is there something on the other side? No, I can't. I can't check out the other side. Okay, never mind. Then there's this recording. I feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Okay, and that's definitely what he did. But devil's oh. breath. There we go. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Indeed, so let's take it. Because we kind of saw what was in there already. And then that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, there's the electrifying. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. Uh, let's just turn that off. We saw one of these on the other side over here. And then... Do I need to activate that multiple times? Yeah. One more. There we go. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Yeah, they might have just... be burned to a crisp. I'm not gonna drop down yet. Can I actually check out this? Huck, this is all about Norman Osborn. His whole career. Well, he must have been obsessed with him. Yeah, but why? Osborne's economic plan will worsen poverty. He says your family is safe. This article is decades old. It must be back when Oscorp was first founded. 
Fisk donations to Oldsborn's campaigns questions. To Trying to predict when he'd fall. So yeah, Fisk, that makes sense. He wanted Fisk to go down so he could take over everything and become strong enough to take on Osborne. Younger Osborne takes up Mother's legacy, yeah. Don't really see any indication as to why Mr. Lee would be mad at Osborne. Let's head back down. No, okay, there's I'm another... Get out of here. Yeah, this is another room. Not electrified this time. Um, there seems to be a door here. Let's put that out of the way. And then we can probably exit the room just like that. Hello, Peter. <laughs> Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Crap. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. You get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. He's not really. Well, what matters is... But he's not really a fan of you anymore as well. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well... Well, that was a threat. When will you be back? When my work is done. He must know that he wouldn't survive that room without anything helping him out. This is really well written, by the way. Oh, glowing eyes. Um, um, um. Wait, wait, wait! So yeah, they, they kind of look like mindless zombies. But he... I mean, you're showing your combat skills now. You just kicked four homeless guys in the face. Okay. And now, of course, we couldn't follow him. 3,000 experience, does that give us a level? Yes, it does. Okay. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. Okay. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner. <sighs> what should I cook? So yeah, indeed. We're a week later after the bombing, so... Where did he stay? Did he still stay at the feast center or did he stay at MJ's place? Oh, hi doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool! Um, I've got dinner planned. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. I'm losing uh, Okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by just for a minute. 
I'm just chasing a car. <laughs> a pigeon. Come on. A, pi a pigeon. A Co one. Come on. There we go. Okay. We took out the car. There we go. And one goes out. And the other one goes out as well. There's a bomb in there. There's a bomb in there. Totally missed the bomb before. Uh, there we go. Stop the car. Disarm the bomb. Demons armed the bomb. Gotta deal with it fast. These demons must have crazy insurance premiums. Holy shit! That was tense all of a sudden for something so small. Um, that wait. There's two options. I can either go. Oh no, I thought I had two options. I thought we were going to be able to go either to dinner or to Dr. Octavius. I'm actually going to try if I can actually do the research People center over me. here. There we go. They are taking fire and I need crime tokens actually most of all, so... Here we go. I've got my problems with Stable International. But when they're fighting demons, we're on the same side. Hey, I'm not with those guys, but I'm still gonna kick your butt. Okay, let's just... And there we go. Wait, was that it? No. Web enemies to the walls. That was only two, sadly. Demons were so two tokens. Okay, that's another crime token done. Uh, another backpack with a Spider-Man plushie, apparently. And then the research station. Let's open that up. Oh, we, do we just need to open that up? Or wait, we can do something, right? Just want to end it with this. This station monitors air quality. And we're going to have to go fly through a bunch this of smokestacks, probably. Really important. It measures toxins in the air. Way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. Okay. Let's flat through some smoke. <laughs> Got that one. <coughs> this can't be good for me. <coughs> and there goes the last That's one. It. There we go. <laughs> Air quality checked out. <coughs> okay. Looks like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures. Just like the old Bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. One down. That's a keeper. And there we go. And the final car is... Right over there. All set. That'll get a recall ordered. Courtesy of your Earth-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Ta-da! We got two more research tokens, which means we can actually check out if I can't upgrade anything. And that just got rid of all the smoke, I presume. There we go. Let's check everything out. So we unlocked a spider punk suit. It looks hideous. <laughs> I don't even want to... Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. Um... I'm just gonna check out if I don't have any other gadgets I can upgrade. So, impact web, further knockback is something I really, really want. And then I can actually upgrade the capacity again with two backpack tokens and a landmark token. There we go. And then what else do we have? I can actually make the spider drone. And I'm, I'm first gonna go with the gadget shot capacity for the web bomb. And then the spider drone with one base token and three research tokens. There we go. And I don't think, yeah, I'm pretty much out of tokens right now. 
because yeah i need more crime tokens for everything else basically and challenge tokens for some reason i don't have those unlocked yet and i have one more skill point maybe i can actually use that to maybe yeah why not use the brutes as projectiles which makes a, a hazard something i can actually use there we go i'm definitely going for the innovator skill tree here Maybe because I'm not checking out the rest properly, but uh, there we go. And with that done, I think I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to go either on a dinner date or go to Dr. Octavius to check out what he has created. But uh, thanks again enormously for watching and hope to see you guys in the next episode of Marvel Spider-Man. Goodbye!